All right. Let's get back to this testing, testing. Testing, okay. Audio's working this time. Good. Oh. Straight into it today, huh? All right. By zerglings from moment one. Zerglings. Nurglings. That's, well, same thing in this instance. There's swarms of them, so why not? Ugh. You're going to have this crappy shotgun that I don't use anyway. Why not? Not easing me into it today, are they? All right, it's been a couple days. Let me just take stock of my various ammo. I still don't have plasma rifle, but I've got everything else. Heavy bolters, half. That's full. Not sure if that's full or not, but it's pretty good. I think that's full. That's nowhere close to full. Okay, so I need a plasma gun. I need lots of volt or not. Okay, uh, grab ammo. I need heavy bolter ammo. Oh, and there I finally get uh, a plasma rifle there. Okay. Let's grab everything else first. Full up on standard grenades. I don't have a fancy vortex grenade. Oh, I, yes, I do now. <laughs> Funny timing, I should say that just then. Okay. Functional? Yes. I'm not going to touch it yet. Okay, it's, it's weird they waited that long to give me a plasma rifle, but here we are. Got it now. Uh, don't know what that does. Maybe it just changes the monitors? I don't know. Okay, this way. Is that a Melta? Accidental extraction through exhaust vent is not advised. <laughs> I agree. I don't want to uh, accidentally vent myself either. Alright. Or was it full? Okay. I like how the, the servo skulls isn't telling me, hey, don't fall. It's dangerous. It's, it's like accidental extraction is not advised. That's very you, 40k. Yeah. Bitch, Space Marine, so I don't need to use anything special on you. Why are you giving me a bunch of grav cannon and stuff right now? I'm feeling very concernicus at the moment. Hey buddy, you're gonna need this! Oh shit.
what they should have done. They should have allowed me to step on the Nurglings. Like, if I just walk into a Nurgling, it should die. But I guess they wanted it to be possible that they could swarm you so badly that you get penned in. Potentially. Shit. I didn't realize my health was so low already. You know what? I'm going to try this. This is probably a bad idea, but... Back myself in here. Plague Toad, that's why. Walking around the middle of the room while being surrounded and by projectiles constantly is definitely not the move. Alright, there we go. Back into a corner is potentially also bad, but making them come at me through a storm of heavy bolter. There's nowhere to hide. It was bad for them. Oops. What? What? Pickups. Ooh, hello. Yes, please. Okay, this way. Guy? Not anymore. I don't know if those guys were going to come up and impede me again later or not, but you know. This isn't about my personal convenience, this is about exterminating the enemies of mankind. Purifying the galaxy for the Emperor. I aim for a 100% kill rate because that is my holy duty. Not to be confused with holy duty, that that's that's a Nurgle thing. Saw a guy down there. Oh. I was trying for a headshot from downtown, but it wasn't working. Well. Oh. oh, hello. 
You don't have a plasma rifle now? Also, you know what? What else I've got? Vortex grenade! I don't know how many people I caught him that, but it was fun. Whoa. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I am almost dead. But not anymore. Ha ha ha. Nerglings. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Really have no idea how much of this game is left. Hopefully we can wrap it up today. Available in this room still, depending on when the next shenanigans break out. I think that gives me a temporary extra ammo, too, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to be able to come back to this room later. Or if I'm just going to be moving on permanently. Ooh, nice cathedral look to this, uh... What is this, a generatorium? Something like that. stages. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna check. The guns never tire. Alright, this is the gun decks, right? So that might have been a generatorium then. One specific for the uh, ship guns. What that? Yep, those are some ship bullets, alright. Oop. Out of curiosity, now that I've taken this elevator up, is it possible for me to take it back down if I need? Probably not. Okay, <laughs> if, I, if I need ammo and health again, but I don't think so. All right, let's read what this says. Uh, oof. Brigadus Mon Tolpasa. On air, something with blood on it. Uh, oh, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to read. Venti sir brigandi brigadius mon tolpasa 
Est on something uh, Urpan Del Mechanicus. This is, this is too much high gothic for me. I can't take any more health right now. I can take a little more armor, but there isn't any. Oh, is that the room I came from? I guess I can get back then. Okay. What am I supposed to do up here before I go back down there, though? Oh, hello. Grav cannon full. I like to hear it. Okay, I guess I'm going here. I'm full up on all of my ammo now, except for... Oh no, including Heavy Bolter. Okay, everything's full. Great. Half the reason I shot that barrel, other than the fun of splattering on Nurgling, but also it's because I don't want it to explode while I'm standing next to it. If somebody else shoots it. So, safety measure for me. But also Nurgling goes splat. <laughs> Which I could have just shot him normally for, but you know. There's no kill quite so fun and satisfying as overkill, am I right? Especially when you don't have to expend much ammo for it. Ah, kills 100%. Love it. Death is on a... Station's mausoleum. The hallowed mechanicus remains from the crown's attendants are endured here. Seriously though, thank you for making the bolt gun so satisfying to use in a game titled Bolt Gun. But just in general, even. A game with a lame bolt gun is highly unsatisfying. More unsatisfying than even normally expected because that's you're taking something that should be great and neutering it and that's just awful oh I got sealed in here huh okay that's what I think of your ambush and these chaos queens are so much weaker than me I wonder if they're just numpties, or if there's something special about my character. In the lore, or if it's just player character syndrome. <laughs> player characters are always stronger than regular people, you know? But sometimes the game actually explains why, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just a thing. Because it is. What are you chirping about down there? Okay, you got a health. You got a health. Waka 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 waka. Pack manning him up. Here, have a present. 
Oh, and you gave me my grenade back, too. How nice. Now that's a good rebate. Ha ha ha. Let's the grenade, fool. Oh, I thought you were going to die to your own grenade for a second there, but you got out of it at the last second. That's fine. Ah! Chunk of gore just dripped off the wall. You know what? I'm going to dishonor you. I'm killing you with the shotgun that I hate. I suppose it has its uses once in a while. Anybody reappear down there now? Alright, let's go the other way. What is in t'other direction? Ah, the door that I needed the key for. Went up the stairs in the right order. All right. Lovely. I love how there's some demons here that are even weaker than some of the humans. Some humans take two bolt rounds to put down, like the heavy gunners. But these blue horrors are always one shot. At least with this gun, anyway. I don't know what a human pistol would, would do. Thankfully, that's not my problem. Take you that ammo because I'm only missing one bullet. I'm not taking a triple mag for one bullet. Excuse me. Yeah, I was gonna say who's shooting at me, but then I just noticed the space marine over there. Get out of here, Terminator. Sucker. You know, I've got all these heavy weapons now, but the plasma rifle is still an excellent uh, heavy killer at long range. As long as the enemy's not moving around too much. Okay, once I get the purple key, I come over here. Ooh. Take that. Take those later. Teleport didn't sound like it was behind me. Oh. It was. I'll give you something to scream about, Screamer.
bastard. Vengeance. Vengeance. Notice sometimes when I just launch multiple ones. Even though they look like they all hit, sometimes the third or fourth one just doesn't do damage. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe I shouldn't go quite so nuts on it. Maybe I should only hit people two at a time. What's that noise? Oh, well, there's somebody over there. You're low in health, someone's gonna finish you off. Okay. Alright. Uh, what else is going on out here? Oh. I thought they were statues for a second. Uh -huh. I hate how tiny and insignificant the shotgun shells sound when they hit the ground. They're just plastic toy shotguns. Whoa. What? Ooh, that last one almost got me. Almost hit me in the side of the face. But it didn't. Ha 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 ha. Sucker. You know, this game has been getting harder, but they're still giving me plenty of ammo in general, so that's nice. Oh, speaking of which, I just want to do vengeance on this guy. Oh no, all three worked on that guy. Maybe the ones where it seemed like one of them didn't work was just an actual miss. Passed by some vengeance ammo. There we go, back to full. in there that might have been a waste but there's a replacement right here so why not also give me this stuff please I will now take that triple mag I left behind lovely Save. Full on grab cannon again. Got 
stuck on that the spire thing here, I think. I was trying to dodge to the right and I couldn't move. Oh well. Still got plenty of armor. But I could have just a tiny bit more. You know what I mean? Where do those other ones go? Running around trying to find a way to get to me. Probably. Oh, hello. Didn't fall into your trap, did I, sucker? Flop. You should make me miss you twice. Unexpected. Actually, no, I don't need that. It's good to know it's here, though. I can come and get it later. Ooh, a lot of armor, actually. Hearing you down there. Ah. Yeah. to alternative path made. Say so, buddy. Ah. You know, just because this is an area I've been to before doesn't mean there aren't nasty surprises lurking here or this time around. But okay, let's see. I've got all the key cards now. I don't remember. Were there any doors I needed them for back here? Don't remember. I know I originally came from this way, but... Ah, there we go, yellow. Do I need heavy bolter ammo? Sure don't. In fact, let's use some now! up exactly at my normal max. That's funny. Oh, hello. Before I go that way, I feel like I should check out what's going on over here. Is this the beginning of the level? I think it was. Okay. I just opened a new thingy is all. Shortcut back to this. Okay. Well, hello. 
fill me back up. Daddy. Alright, there's gonna be a big fight in here. I can just feel it in my bones. Here we go. Oh. Where did the other guy go? Wasn't there a Terminator here? I thought I saw a Terminator. No, it's just a regular guy. That's fine. Damn it. I thought the fireballs were traveling slightly faster. I was wrong. When the Purge Protocol ends, while the enemies I just killed were off screen. <laughs> I gotta use my Volkite more. It's fun in its own little way. Plus, I gotta spread around the ammo use a bit, you know? Manage ammo reserves better if you use a variety of them. Uh, I don't need any of that. I don't think I need that. No. You know, I don't know what the difference is between uh, Dragonfire, Vengeance, and Kraken Rounds. Other than the fact that bolt fire involves fire. They all seem to function about the same though, roughly. Sure, give me special ammo and then throw weenies at me to use it up on. I'm not getting embroiled in that room right now. Oh, there's a fucking Lord of Change out there. Whoa! The guy have been sealed in. I'm gonna clear out the rest of this room here before you engage the boss. Yeah. No ascension for you, bitch. Hello, Larson. Ah, oh, fuck. Got another Lord of Change here, just as you arrived. Thanks for that. <laughs> it's your fault, Larson. Blame you.
Oh, you don't like that, do you, buddy? Ha <laughs> ha Even Sinch hey. cannot uh, deny the power of gravity. Hello, <laughs> sir. Hey, hey. You were sounding more robust today. Uh, yeah, feel a little better. Not much. Well, also though, your power of your microphone. I mean. Yeah. Huh. Same when, one. You, when your when your computer was in the shop, you were much quieter. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Well. That was what your phone, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I, uh, oh, well, my other part will be here from tomorrow, which is the capture card. Nice. Did you say something about you weren't feeling well recently, or? Oh, that was last night. I woke up in the middle of the night with... Uh -huh. I, I didn't feel too I great had... yesterday either, which is why I didn't stream yesterday. Like, mine through the acid reflux has been waking me up a oh. couple of nights. I think I will... Annoying. I think I know one of the maybe one of the causes. The only thing that's changed recently was uh, somebody recommended for my joint pain to start taking uh, turmeric supplements. I don't know what that is. It's a spice. Uh, it's okay. Use finding Indian foods. What makes it? Oh, sorry. Oh, can no. you can you say what, huh? say the name again? Turmeric. Oh, okay. No, I do know what that is. I I just didn't hear you clearly the first time. Okay, yes. And um, I so I'm not gonna. I didn't take one today, and won't take one. Or we can see if that changes things. Some say it's got a, you know, it's a spice, so it may be part of it. I don't know. I'd be curious to know. Yeah, let me know as well. Uh, I didn't know that it was used medicinally. Yeah, it's. Uh, let me see here. Supplements before I get don't use anymore. Uh, turmeric. Uh, let's see. Uh, turmeric supports antioxidant health. Says. Mm. I don't know. Personally, I like oxygen, so I don't know about no. that. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Larson says he's been told that turmeric is good for everything. Yes, but did was it a turmeric obsessed person who told you this? Furnace of damnation! Oh shit! A sorcerer has done something profane to the warp drive. Yeah. A beam of chaotic energy is being vented directly into the sun. Oh yeah. shit! Is this the last level? Uh, let's see. It says and I get. I'm looking at benefits. They improve digestion, reduce risk of heart disease, improve blood sugar regulation. And it said. Uh, I don't know, ease inflammation and pain, but it says large, it says large amounts may cause stomach upset, and maybe that's it. I, uh, will... It was a food wishes video? I don't know what food wishes is. Somebody who makes videos, I guess. Mm, this is a co-worker just telling me if she takes turmeric supplements and for her joint pain that seems to work. For her, I'm like I said. I'm gonna stop taking them and see if things get better. Do you mean start taking it? <laughs> well, stop taking it. I've been taking it. Oh, I didn't. I thought you said you were about to start trying it. No, I didn't realize you were already taking it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Food wishes is a recipe channel. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's what it sounded like. I've never heard of it, but sure. So, Blast, have you been seeing the, uh, the internet meltdowns about the female custodes? Oh, no. Uh, games work out. Do you know who the custodes are? The custodies? Yeah, those are the yeah. like the emperor's royal guard. Yep. Uh, it has been recently announced that they are going to start making uh, miniatures for uh, female custodes. Well, okay. And I mean, the been... yeah, and the ch but the chuds have been losing their minds over it. <laughs> uh, it's you know how they you are. Know. 
or I'm one way or the other. Uh, hell, I've got another thing. I have right here. This is I have a limited edition mini that I bought. Uh, Severina Rain. She's a female uh, commissar. Oh, and there's plenty of those. Yeah. First one I had ever seen. But that's no problem. And, I mean, uh, it's a minority, perhaps, but not unheard of kind of thing. Yeah. But I a mean, lot of the, the the online chuds are being like, Custos can't be female, but there's never been anything in the rules that says that they had to be male. No. Well, that's a thing. Nothing. There's never been anything in the rules about their gender at all. Right. Uh, now, they've just been made as male figures. Now... What does the lore say? I mean, I don't know the background and biology of. Well, from what I've seen, I know yeah. The, the, from uh, what I've seen, the yeah. lore says that the original batch of custodies yeah. were were all male. Yeah. Uh, but there's nothing that said anything about any new ones yeah. made after the first batch. I mean, so. I know the Astartes have been all male, and that's because they were taken from. Uh, the gene they're taken from the gene seed of the primox which are taken exactly. from the gene seed of the emperor who is male yeah and i don't know what although really what um, goes it sounds like they may have found themselves a loophole in the lore for introducing female space marines as well if they choose to uh because uh, apparently there is um like, i don't know how it works between them and the emperor necessarily but there is apparently in the lore mm. and i don't know if they've ever said why this is but in yeah. the lore, there is two Primarchs who have been banished from all history. Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't even know why that they've been stricken from the records. Right. Like, even outside of the lore, us players don't know why they were stricken from the records. It has been suggested that they could, if they wanted to, have yeah. one... Because there's two of those Primarchs that are, that are gone. They could bring back one or both of them, have them suddenly show back up again, and have it turn out that they were female Primarchs the whole time. Yeah. Because we don't know anything about them. Who knows? And if they could be female Primarchs, then their Space Marines would have to be female as well. Yes. I'm looking to find out about... So they could do that if they want. Yeah. Let's see. Origins of the Custodian Guard shrouded in the planet. Bodyguard is more protected than the Emperor. Uh, let's see. Genetically engineered warriors of unswerving loyalty and unshakable purpose. Their might and skill at arms was greater even that than the space marines. Mm -hmm. Ah, hold on, I got my ass kicked by this guy. Ah. Alright, let's get ready for him. Ah. The Legio Custodes are by many accounts the Emperor's true firstborn. Oh. Oh, hold on, Larson's got something as well. The loop. Larson says he thought the loophole was going to be... Belisaria's call walking up to the Golden Throne with a Tenga? <laughs> I don't know what a Tenga is. I have a feeling Larson is making a joke, but I don't get it. But, uh... I, you know what, though? Oh, I do, I, I do bet... Yeah. I, I, I do bet you that if female Space Marines show up, or even the yeah. female custodes, maybe I bet Belisarius Call is responsible for it. I see he what is changing is. all the rules. This man. I see what it is. It, it, uh, for lack of a better word, it's pocket pussy. Oh. <laughs> I don't think there's enough physical matter of the Emperor left to even t be taking gene samples out of him. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, but, um, he's too much of a uh, of a withered mummy at this point. But the uh, Legio Custodes are, by many accounts, the Emperor's true firstborn, prefiguring even the gene-crafted Thunder Warriors. Oh, wow! They were first. Well, I have to say the um, Belisarius Call, though this guy is such a rogue yeah. element within the Mechanicus that he's uh, he's yeah. pretty much their trump card to change anything they want to in the lore. Honestly, yeah. If they want anything new invented, he can. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be your man to do it. I don't know. I mean, like, we'll see. Hey, I will say this. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts by means of one particular factor. Yeah. Failed. You know what? If, ain't nobody, if they don't Here's buy the, the thing, minis. I, I 
I feel like some of the old hardcore diehard mm-hmm. chuds yeah. may stop buying minis. Yeah. But th- I feel like they're going to get a lot of new fans. We'll see. I th- I've been seeing a lot of women on Twitter being like, mm. uh, how do I start getting yeah. into 40k now? This sounds awesome. Br- bring on the, yeah. the lady warriors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they say that on Twitter. Yeah, but you know, while not necessarily everybody will follow through, some will. Yeah. Anyway, I am a... Uh... But yes, we'll, yeah. we'll see how the sales go in, in, right. in the overall balance of things. Yeah. But I, I did see one quote from uh, the official Games Workshop uh, themselves saying that uh, about the whole thing... I'm boiling it down to its bare essence and leaving out a lot of mm. uh, well, a lot of it by paraphrasing, mm. but essentially it came down to them say, they they said something more or less along the lines of uh, yeah. the Imperium is is fueled by hate, but Warhammer isn't. We welcome mm. everybody. I was like, you know what? So true. Yeah. <laughs> so true. All right, let's deal with these. Can I? Yeah, like I said, and now they have been adding to. I mean, I know they added. Uh, like I said, the Serene Rain. That that makes that could make the sense. What? That, Sorry, I, mean, I, I didn't catch what you said the, there. The Severina Rain Mini. That character. I mean, those. Oh, okay, yeah. No matter what, that's Astra Militarum, and they. For them, the I guess, yeah, women, male yeah. or female. So I mean, they're pretty much the army. They're all. Yeah. Brought in from whatever. I mean, there's planet. no pretty much about it. They just literally are the army. Right. Yeah. They are the well. Yeah. They are the standing army. They're the the troops. They're the bullet sponges. <laughs> yeah. They just have a fancy name, Astra Militarum, because yeah. the uh, the Imperium loves using its high gothic to sound fancy. Yep. But it's it's just the army. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like I said, could be male or female, but when you have something that's been genetically crafted from a single source as I think the custodies are like the uh, starties from the emperor's gene seed and like I said anything could happen possible that a female could come from that same gene seed yeah it's, like I said especially because Belisarius call is uh a character who is like both a genius and is willing to break the uh, break the the taboos. Yeah. Like a lot of the shit he's doing is considered to be borderline tech heresy, but that's yeah. because the Mechanicus is uh, reluctant to invent new things, mm. and he's inventing all kinds of new shit. Mm. But that's... And he's getting away with it because uh, Gilliman lets him. Yep. Ooh. Gilliman is pushing the rules because he is not from the era where... I don't think these taboos existed in his time. Yeah. A lot of the a lot of these taboos came to exist in the 10,000 years he was in stasis. And he yeah. thinks they're stupid. <laughs> oh, I mean, he was the guy who wrote the book that, you know... I don't well, he wrote that. The, the Codex Astartes, but he didn't write like the political rules for the Imperium right. in general. Yeah, even and not 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 all the uh, not all of them follow that. All, not all the Astartes follow that either. It's true. I think he's actually uh, supposed to be um, like rewriting it and re- you know, refining it. I, I still like the one from the uh, Russian Badgers uh, video on. Was it? Uh, Space Hulk Deathwing. <laughs> They're making a joke. I'm gonna. Yeah, uh, Codex Astartes doesn't support it. Well, I can't read. <laughs> yeah. And yes, uh, Larson, it is one of the most ironic things is that the Imperial Faith is based on the writings of somebody who is one of their biggest enemies now. The Primarch Lorgar invented the worship of the Emperor. Mm hmm. And now he is one of the head. Well, actually, I don't know if he's still around, but he at least was one of the head uh, Chaos people now. 
Because Daddy rejected his worship, and, and he's... Yeah. It's in his soul that he has the need to worship something. <laughs> he found that somebody else to worship instead. <laughs> But all the Primarchs had flaws in their DNA that have affected their legions, and I think that was the word bearer's flaw. They were obsessed with religion, which was clearly not intended because the Emperor was trying to wipe out religion. Yeah. Which, while, uh, while it was a noble goal in, within the sense of... Like, I don't want religion wiped out in real life, necessarily. Certain religions, mm -hmm. but not religion as a concept. But within the within the 40k lore, if, he, if the Emperor had somehow managed to completely eradicate religion and make sure there was not a single person in the universe yeah. that believed in the Chaos Gods anymore, that believed in religion at all anymore, the Chaos Gods would probably have died. Because if without anybody to worship them. Unfortunately, that was a bit of a naive goal because stopping every single person in the entire galaxy from worshipping anything, turning everybody in the universe into an atheist is impossible. Mm. Yeah. He could never have achieved it. But damn, it was a it was a nice idea. Getting rid of the chaos gods would have been great. Of course, the irony goes both ways, because not only was the worship of the Emperor created by somebody who turned into an enemy, but that is also bad for that enemy as well, because Lorgar has accidentally created his own greatest foe by setting the Emperor up as a god. So, it's funny both ways. <laughs> the Emperor is the reason Chaos hasn't won yet, already. <clears throat> I look back at that picture of the guy, all the portraits he did of the, uh... Primarch. Yeah. There's been a few of those, uh, but yeah. The one that I showed... When did I put that up there? Uh... The ink, I don't know, for a, over what? a week ago. Kokoroko, go doki doki. Rota go daka daka. I don't understand okay. any of that, Larson, except for the daka daka part. Yeah, same. Uh, doki doki. That sounds like something. Well, I know doki doki is the is the sound effect for a beating heart, but I don't know what a kokoroko mm. or a bo doroka or whatever those words were. Mm. I don't know what those are. Mm. <laughs> I know they use doki doki in a lot of those. Uh, what do you call it? Visual novel game, video games, or yeah, and sim. any kind of dating sim potentially could use that mm -hmm. because Doki Doki is the sound effect of your, of somebody's heart beating quickly with excitement. Yeah. But anyway, that portrait, the way you do it, some of them you could tell, like you could tell who they were just by looking at them, like fucking. Uh, I some of them were, are a little bit vague, but some of them, like I, I saw one that did like Pixar versions of the Primarchs and. I can only kind guess of. who half of them were, but um, I saw another one more recently, that I th which is probably the one you're talking about, where they were all, uh, like, I think 90% of them I could guess. Yeah. Because they so were very tell, good. Like, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Like, Fulgrim, Full. you could tell him right off, freaking pretty boy. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Gilliman, you could tell... Uh, Gilliman's usually one of the easiest ones to identify, and Fulgrim. Um, Perturabo, you could tell right away, all oh, like shit stuck in his head. Pert yeah, <laughs> Perturabo and, uh, and Magnus are usually pretty easy to tell. Uh, Mortarion. Mortarion's pretty... he stands out quite well, but usually, uh, I think... I think, like, Ferris Magnus is hard to tell unless you can see his hand. Yeah. Um, uh... uh I could tell. Uh, Lumen Russ is hard to tell unless he's dressed, unless he's wearing his furs. Well, I could, yeah, I could see that, that, and the what, just that feral look on his face. Come on, that's. Yeah. But uh, I've seen versions of him that were drawn were not looking quite so feral, and then it's yeah. harder to tell. Yeah, Rogaldorn. You can. Kokoro means heart. Okay. Baruta would be how a Japanese would pronounce Bolter. 
Okay. So this is a tech priest singing about how her her heart is beating quickly because her bolter gun is going bang bang bang. <laughs> uh, I mean, gotcha. The fact, Makes sense. <laughs> the fact that huh? there's two of them, the fact that in one figure there's two of them, that's obviously Alpharius and Omega. Yep. You can also tell because they're not the same size as the other ones because Alpharius yeah. and Omega are regular Space Marine size. Right. Um, Although nowadays only one of them is alive, I think. Yeah. Um, but they're hiding that for the most part, so I think they're. The, I think uh, I believe Omega is the only one that's still alive. I think it's Alpharius that was killed, but Omega is going around pretending to be Alpharius. So, like, one's like uh, Lionel Johnson. I couldn't recognize him right off. Jack of the Icon. I got him pretty easy. I recognize him pretty easy. Yeah. Lionel Johnson uh, sometimes is a bit feral looking as well, but sometimes not. Uh, yeah, lots of thing. Him and uh I, Lehman I Russ you could mm -hmm. almost Lehman Russ, yeah. They can mistake them for one another. In uh, some Conrad styles, yeah. Conrad Con Kurz is pretty easy. He yeah, he's the emo looking one. Yeah, well, then again, you could also say that about uh, Corvus Korak. Sometimes. But uh, Kurz will tend to look like he's more he's leaning into the evil a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sanguinius I actually just, I actually just was, picked up the novel the other day that, that talks yeah. about Al Johnson coming back. By the way, I don't know who that that artist was there, Larson, but that was a pretty good picture. I guess that Ferris Mana is a little harder to tell. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, unless, unless they show his metal hand, you can't really tell. No. That's his distinguishing feature. So if it, Lorgar, if, if it not for that crazed look on his face, I wouldn't have really been able to tell him. Yeah. It, it depends how much detail they go into with him as well, because he's supposed right. to have runic script on uh, he's supposed to be bald headed with runic script on his on his scalp yeah. oh, but unless they unless they actually draw that you can't tell yeah. hell looking at, then again he ain't the only bald headed one in fact they got ah. tried all in a row him Horus and Vulcan <laughs> they're all three bald headed yeah but Vulcan should be dark skinned so he stands out that way yeah well it's hard to tell in this picture because they're all kind of underlit so it's like <laughs> mm, yeah if not for the flaming eyes that Vulcan has <laughs> in this picture also sometimes you can mistake uh, Perturabo and Angron for each other because they both have shit stuck in their heads right that's about the, that's the other thing but It's a weird shooting gallery sort of thing. <laughs> you only have a window for a couple shots and the wall gets in the way. Yeah, Larson, I like that tech priest picture except it's it's a little bit too weaved up. <laughs> At the, I'm looking in the pictures. This is where I put the one I was talking about. That's the one that also has the below it the uh Peekaboo battle? What? Hmm? What's a peekaboo battle? Is that supposed to be a a, a silly name for Perturabo? Mm, I, don't I don't understand. I'm right there peeking around corners. Oh maybe he's talking about my Oh, he's talking about the the closing walls thing. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> Oh, that's the okay. That's not the mini. That's the action figure of. Uh, What's the Gilman. difference? Well. It's bigger, one thing. It's like it's about six inches tall as opposed to a little 
Like mm. Whatever scale they're in. 28 millimeter scale at the. Mm. Yeah, this one, uh, Joy Toy. There's a toy Lude. Joy. <laughs> yes, uh, they make some really good figures, and they're doing a lot of great uh, 40k stuff. Now, mind you, they're pricey as hell. Where the hell? At the uh, as far as people who are making 40k figures, uh, these figures probably more than McFarlane wants for theirs. But mm, now. I think they're more comparable to the band what Bandai wants for theirs, but it's got more stuff than that, more detail, more stuff to it than Bandai has. Guess I have to use the jump pad to get up there. Oh, wait, can I pull myself up? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, there's the console. Yeah, I have to get up there. If I get a running start on this, there we go. A lot of this, uh, a lot of the combat in this game turns up, turns to, uh, comes down to peekaboo combat, though, really, because you can't just stand in the open and get shot all the time. I'm peeking it. <laughs> <laughs> like we're using, it's like we're using fucking uh, what is it? Uh, yeah. Counter strike talk now, peaking mid. <laughs> Ew. Well, it means you're in like, I think mid is part of the map. Like Middle lane or kind map. of thing. Yeah. And, uh, peaking, basically, you're kind of doing a quick look around the corner and make sure nobody's there. Yeah. Although, it's okay, I don't, I don't need to understand, uh, I think we're better off if we don't understand counter strike talk. <laughs> Yuck. That game was too serious for me. Uh. Yeah. I hate the way they jump because it makes them harder to, to hit them consistently. They're sneaky little buggers. Although sometimes when somebody mentions uh, was it banana in CS:GO, that's the funniest one. Basically, it means this one, almost like a hallway that curved like a banana. Ah. Uh, you know what else is curved like a banana? Yeah. Plantains. Uh, yeah. <laughs> First, the long curve section of the map that's often used as a choke point. I'll choke your banana, all right. Mm. Yeah, oh, there's thing that's, but oh, sorry, go ahead. There's always terms in any video game when they're talking about a character, like in uh, Apex, when they were told so when they say somebody's flesh in the game. That means that they've basically uh, worn through their armor, so now ah. it's down to health rather than armor. So they say they're flat. Sort of thing could apply here as well. Yeah, I know that. I watch a lot of. I have not played the game. I do watch. Uh, do the YouTube videos when like X, Aches or Grizzly are playing it. Bleh. <laughs> I was gonna say though, uh, I was realizing yesterday yeah. that uh, 
Well, I was talking the other day about how funny it is that Contempt is used as your armor in this game. Yeah. But there's act Like, that's such a common concept in Warhammer that there's actually... One of the Gaunt's Ghost novels is actually called Armor of Contempt. Yeah. <laughs> the actual title of the book. Mm. But in that case, it was specifically being used as a phrase to mean um, a human being able to resist the influence of the warp because your mind is armored by your contempt for it. Mm. I don't know how effective that necessarily is, but that was Commissar Gaunt using uh, using that as an explanation as to why he, sp he was able to spend, I think, an entire year on a Chaos Corrupted Planet without himself becoming corrupted. Yeah. It's because of his contempt for the enemy. But then again, Chaos is subtle, so maybe it just wants him to think that he's okay, right? Hmm, <laughs> that would be odd. That would be odd. Now we're dangerous. The best way to sneak corruption into a person is by making them think that they're still pure. Yeah. That is one thing. I am looking forward to the new Space Marine game. Space Marine 2? Yeah. Yeah, just to see, we're going to explain, alright, was this, you know, what happened since then? Our, obviously, uh, our main character is back. Yeah, because at the end of Space Marine 1, he was taken away by the Inquisition. Right. Because so... he was, uh, they were very suspicious about how he was able to resist these warp powers so easily. Exactly. Maybe he so... actually was corrupted after all and just doesn't realize it. Well, we're gonna uh, but find I do know out. that he is not only back as the protagonist of Space Marine 2, but he is now a Primaris Marine as well. Yeah. I don't know how much time passed between the two games, but... Uh, he is apparently now a Primaris. Yeah. So, I guess they uh, decided to upgrade him before sending him back into the field. Yeah. Ooh, neat. Which, which implies that he's been cleared. Yeah. We've got, uh, let's see, Collector's Or he's being sent in as a Suicide Squad style mission. Could be. Or, or, that's or both. An, <laughs> that's a thing we don't have anymore, and it used to be. This goes back to the Rogue Trader days. Uh -huh. Or when it was just start when it was, okay rogue that's the thing 40k started out with rogue trader which was almost like a did it an, an RPG yeah it, the it original started tabletop there? I didn't know that the table okay the tabletop game was more or less an RPG that you could use minis with right I don't know um I know it's I'm pretty sure it started with fantasy I think fantasy well, came before yeah, 40k but, didn't it. But I don't yeah, know if they started as an RPG or a tabletop or a miniatures. But, I don't know. Yeah, well, so did, uh, so did I mean, Fantasy started as an RPG, and then they went to miniature battles, and it was the same I mean, that, thing. Yeah, or, maybe. That's what I'm saying. I don't I don't know the order of those, so it could be that. Yeah. Yeah. I believe 40k started as miniatures, but it came it came after Fantasy miniatures. So. Yeah. Um. But uh, I don't know when Rogue Trader came into things. Well, the okay. Um, also, I've lost track of where I was going. <laughs> uh, did I come in from this way, or am I supposed to go this way? I don't see any corpses around here. Okay, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. I was say this way is far too clean for it to have been in a place I've been already. But uh, yeah, the I mean the original, like I said, it was a pretty much a tabletop RPG. Uh, from at least it was from like '87 to '93. Larson says the first 40k book was called Rogue Trader, but it was yes. not the RPG. It was. Uh, what was the first 40k book? Are we talking about a novel or a miniature? No, I'm talking about the, the first miniature rules. Was Rogue was Trader? Rogue Trader. Okay. In fact, Entirely possible. I don't know. Yeah. 
so, uh... Oh. But, and then... It started You're to You're taking become... damage down there, but it's too slow. You can just die. And it's... they, uh... <laughs> the Imperium had these... Characters that, uh... Get... I think they were the Penitent Legion. Penitent Legion? And, yeah, they were basically, for some reason or another, were... Or the Penal Legion, that was it was. Mm -hmm. Penitents, they were... The characters were called Penitents, but yeah. They, uh... Yeah, some they, criminals uh, get conscripted to become uh, suicide army units. Right. That was it. They basically wore suicide vests into battle. Yeah. Like, sometimes they'd survive, but they were generally sent into the most dangerous missions first to be fodder. Yeah. Wish I still had those books. I probably do somewhere. Have my old, uh... If you haven't looked at it, by the way, I I still strongly recommend the, uh, the Road Trader CRPG. Mm hmm It is so oh. good. Yeah, we've got something right now. I know i got some stuff that's on, uh... On sale with frequency. Ooh, the path looks on sixty percent off. Uh, battle sector is forty-six oh, yeah. percent off right now. Ooh, get that! It's incredible as well. Uh, dark tide is forty percent off. I haven't played that yet. I have it, but and I haven't played it yet, so I don't know if it's good. Generation Zero, which is not a 40k game, but I've seen those people play it. It's 80% of it. Ooh, it's only oh. 5 plus right now. I might look at that. Generation Zero, you said? Yes. I've heard of that. I should check that I've... out. Yeah, right now. Ooh. Oh, look at that. I'm so full on that. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm surprised that at. there's still an enemy out there, but I don't see them anywhere. Wanted Dead is 50% off. These are the things on my wish list. I don't know how if if Wanted Dead turned out good or not. I think I heard people complaining about it. Uh, overall reviews are mixed. Yeah, I think that's the one that's super difficult. So if you like really hard games, you might like it. Yeah. I was very interested in it because it's from uh, the makers of Ninja Gaiden, so. So, yeah, that makes sense then. Oh, Larson says, uh, Space Marines back then were kind of just space cops. You could kind of make the oh. argument they still are, <laughs> in a way. Um, oh, I'm looking at the uh, Space Marine 2 Collector's Edition. Is there a viewer Collector's Edition with a beautiful, a, let's see, steel book, 64 page art book, and the game on the platform of your choice, and a uh, collector's bust of Lieutenant Titus. Hmm. So it's basically, it, it looked like Titus coming up out of some kind of pit full of gore, chain sword in one hand, and the top half of a gene stealer in nice. the other hand. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, okay, I saw uh, some goop <laughs> flying around, but now I can't find the source of the goop. And I'm just, and I ain't touching what top half is in it. It's a bust. No, he's holding it aloft, and that's the only part that's left of well. it. Well. <laughs> Considering you said it right after Chainsaw, yeah. I assumed. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah. Hand painted resin. Ooh, nice. Hmm. I bet that edition's a fair bit more expensive, though. Busts are usually pricey. Yeah, well, this is for the collector's edition, so. Right. I mean, collector's edition's prices tend to vary, but when they've got physical stuff like a bust that's yeah. probably the pricier version yeah I don't know what I'm supposed to do down here now I took make sure you get the canvas the bag they promised oh wait that's the other game uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. thanks Todd uh, it just works yeah oh hello sir Oh, did you ever rate, did you ever watch uh, Internet Historians thing on Fallout 76? No. 
That was that was funny. I don't think I did. Yeah. I've only seen one or two of his things, and I don't remember which ones I saw. Uh, I don't think it was that one though. I've seen his ones on. Let me think. I know I've seen his one on uh, Firefest. His one on Rainforest. His one on Dashcon. His one on the guy that predicted the end of the world in 2006. <laughs> The, uh, I don't. What, what, what's protected the end of the world from what? What's that about? One of these, one of these uh, churches he predicted like the world would end on this date, and of course it, it didn't. Right, but how do you protect that? I don't understand. Pre predict. Oh, predict. Uh, okay. I thought you were saying that the guy was being protected from something, and I was. That's no. what confused me. I see now. Predict. Speaking of which, uh, we're uh, a week away from the. Uh, remember when they were predicting that the, the eclipse was going to be the end of the world? Yeah. And then they said, then that didn't happen, and then they moved it back two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> the twenty oh, third, I think it is now. Yeah. Well, same guy. This guy, he kept changing the predictions after it didn't happen. He right, said, yeah. "Well, now I've gone back and done crunched the numbers again, and this is what I'm going to add." It didn't. Oh, my math was wrong, or something, right? Yeah, pretty much. He, he had predict his first prediction was based on math. Numerology. Yep. Uh, let me see. I saw his two different videos on on uh, COVID. That was an interesting one. Yeah. The virus, as he called it, V A R U S, virus. <laughs> virus. That's about as southern uh, as you can spell it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, the one Hold on, on Costa new, Concordia. That was an interesting. Got one. a new picture from Larson. Oh dear. That's the fuck. Where is it? <laughs> Larson, that is strange. You're a strange is boy. On, is it on? Well, oh, wait, it's, no, it's coming from Larson, therefore it's in Twitch chat, because that's the only oh. place he exists. Oh. I'm looking. Why is it grim? Ooh. <laughs> Larson always finds the strange stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so in 2011, that's when Judgment Day was supposed to be. According to well, one of the many times it was supposed to be. Yeah, let's see. Uh, the Costa Concordia. Oh, the the one on No Man's Sky was an interesting one as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because of you know how the problem. Oh with, wait, uh, I think that's the one I saw. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the one I did. I think that's the only Internet Historian video I've seen. Yeah. Uh, so I'm talking see. about the uh, the progression of uh, No Man's Sky, and honestly, yeah, how it a bit, actually qu got quite a redemption story overall. Yeah, it was. It was pretty much came back. Uh, well, some see. people preferred the original version of the game, but uh, either way, yeah. like yeah. They, put, they put a lot of extra work into that thing. <laughs> and while I'm not a massive fan of it overall. Yeah. Uh, what the f? What? What are you just? What is this random nonsense you're posting? <laughs> why oh is God! The, why is there a oh, flying that. elf lady? Another one, Habo, Cool's clothes meme. That one. Uh... But yeah. Most of the time, Larson's posts make a little bit of sense, but that one was just complete random nonsense. <laughs> like flying, like el, like ears, like little wings. I'm thinking Larson probably just came across something weird and confusing in his Googling and just had to share it. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, I remember this uh, internet story with the, the Tumblr 4chan wars. Oh, dear, that sounds terrifying. Uh, basically, talk, talk about a suicide run. Like, the, them Tumblr folks did not know what they were in for. Or Chan don't look around. <laughs> Seriously. 
<laughs> and especially when Tumblr trying to be a little whiny bitches, it's like, oh god, by doing that you've exposed your weakness, and they dive right. in for the kill. You never show 4chan your weakness. No. In fact, don't expose yourself to 4chan in any way at all. No. In, the, in <laughs> my opinion. Just, you should have just stayed away. <laughs> There's nothing of value to be had there. Only, only pain and misery. Yeah. It's like chaos. Oh shit. Exposing yourself to 4chan is only going to corrupt your your soul. That is just yeah. Just just go up and give a healthy kick to the hornet's nest. Why don't you? <laughs> The correct uh, the correct thing to do is to not acknowledge the existence of the hornet's nest in this case. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like, you ain't Jason Statham. You ain't got the stuff to do with it. I made that... Okay, that's only funny if you saw the movie The Beekeeper. <laughs> Never even heard of it. I've talked all about it. Oh, it's good. I went to the... Maybe. I went to, I I went to the... Uh, came out two or three months ago. I went to the... I wanted to go to the cinema. I hadn't been in a long time, and when I saw the trailer for that, and I said, "Well, that looks the thing I'd go to see. I'd want to go see," and I was not disappointed. Well, good. Oh yeah, good action. Glad you enjoyed it. Intrigue and everything, and Jason Statham gets to be his usual ass kick himself. He definitely has a type of role. Yeah. Like, a couple of guys at this one place is walking up and the guy's like, Alright buddy, you got to the count of three, Jason. One, two, three. That did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just run this clock out. Yeah, what kind of yeah. person would ever look at 4chan, Larson? Mm. Who would do that? <laughs> the goggles, they do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, as bad as that was last night, I actually re looked, I woke up still hurting, still tired. I mean, I went into work, and the first thing I did was went to the pharmacy aisle and grabbed a bottle of Tums and, and, and one of Tylenol. Hmm, <laughs> that's I'm definitely not a, a good start. Checking out in one of the assistant managers, and I was like, hey, man, I Stay going this other. I'm starting at buying Tums and Tylenol. How do you think? <laughs> I said, ah, I see. <laughs> I like Larson's like, uh, I certainly wouldn't be sending you pictures from 4chan right now. <laughs> no. You wouldn't do that to us. Staring straight into the sun. Right. Oh, boy. I still love the Google results from the day after the uh, eclipse. <laughs> yeah. So yep. many search people searching for my eyes hurt. <laughs> Ow. Uh, well, I just took a direct hit from something nasty. I'm packing the groceries. I'm doing a little cooking tonight. Ugh. I'm making some Cajun rice. Ah, uh, more of that, eh? No, oh, yeah, yeah, I liked it so much. It's like, why not make another batch? I just did some teriyaki chicken in the uh, last couple days. Oh, I'll put this. I'll post this one in pictures for you. I posted it to everybody else. I don't know what or I don't know if you saw it. I posted it in Kai's uh, food and drink section on. Uh, oh no, Reddit almost as bad as 4chan. On Discord. <laughs> I guess you could look over there. Right it's, the, it's the last thing in Chai's food and drink section. Yeah, I saw you posted that a little bit ago. That uh, yeah, that cheesy burger was delish. Mm. I am proud of myself. Nice. I'm so planning. Yeah, I'm planning around there somewhere still, and I'm not happy about it. I'm planning to make some fried rice probably Friday, my next off day. Oh. I got you on the line. 
So I uh here you are. I'm getting uh I think tomorrow or Thursday I'll have my as I said I'll have that video capture card. Yeah. So uh I might need to ask one or two about setting that thing up. I mean I'll probably have uh the geek squad. I just need to put, put drivers in, in and that's it, really. Yeah. It's not much to uh, set up. It, sh it should have its own software to install. Yeah. Yeah. And then a, you just uh, open that software to view whatever the capture card is capturing. Yeah. Now, if I do uh, decide to stream, I'll need what? OBS and then what I'll need? Well, that is a good option. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's different streaming softwares out there, but OBS, actually, OBS Studio specifically is what I use. Yeah. It's like a newer and better version. Yeah, let me check uh, something. It's pretty good. Studio, yep, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Great unclean one. Yep. Oh, the Damn other it. thing I got uh, recently, I'm uh, sure at that, I now have series 1 through... I have the Ultra series 1 through 4. So I now I what have... what that means. Uh, you know, Ultraman? What? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I said I the Ultra series... You're talking about. Because the first series was Ultra Q, which was a different thing, and then we had Ultraman, and now I have Ultra 7, and the Return of Ultraman. Which, I have physical copies, though... I can also watch them. Tubi has all the Ultra series to stream. I thought I saw some health pickups around here somewhere. I've lost track of them now. I'm just going to go back to a previous save. I can't be fighting this guy on 20 points of health. So close. He was one hit away. Freaking nerglings. Haha, you missed. Well, partially, at least, anyway. Oh, there is an interesting channel I found. Uh, I can pronounce it right. Uh, Asander, Asander and Coda. That's a weird name. Uh, but a lot of uh, a lot of 40k lore and also kind of his critique, his critique on the same.
200 health from. Oh, I must have picked up something at one point and didn't even notice. I'll tank it. In fact, I've already taken it. So did they. Excuse me, sir. See you up there. Hey, <laughs> Somebody had a. Somebody had a great picture. All right, it's from WWE, probably in the aughts. It had if anything there in the ring was uh, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and John Cena, right? It says sure. name Russell a, Boys. Name a, yeah. It says name a better duo in wrestling. I'll wait. <laughs> and I was like, I yes. see what you did there. I don't. That's three people jo though. John Cena's oh. great catchphrase: "You can't see me." But he says that while he's standing right in front of me, and I can see him quite perfectly well. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. That's why I thought it was stupid. Um, no, it's supposed to mean like the sp speed that he can move with. Like, you, like I'll hit you before you see it happen. Eh, it's like... Yeah, it's dumb. But yeah, Part of the reason he's so annoying. Yeah, but that's... Point. I gotta say now, in his movies now, I think he's found his niche. I think they found a type of character he was meant to play, and it works. I think ever since, uh, ever since Peacemaker in uh, the Suicide Squad, his current batch of movies, he had uh, the one, was that one comedy he did recently, Ricky Finicky, and, uh... Never heard of that. Okay, yeah, this is, it's an interesting one. He plays this out-of-work actor that a bunch of guys so basically when they want to get away from work and their wives and anything else they're like oh they're gonna go fit visit our friend Ricky Ricky Stenicki a character they totally made up right okay but the time has come where everybody's almost given them an ultimatum we have to produce this character <laughs> so they hire John as, to be Ricky Stenicki ah uh -huh. <laughs> it's like yeah, tell me full of hijinks. I said it's almost like that old MASH episode uh, at Captain Tuttle. <laughs> it's like they made up this character to cover for them in any kind of sketchy situation, but the character takes on a life of its own. <laughs> There's another movie I can't remember from the 90s. Whoopi Goldberg had, like created her own boss. Basically, since no one should take her character seriously, if they created a more experienced, more masculine boss that she could work through, but then everybody starts doing comparisons with her and that character, and you're not knowing she is this person. Nah. I was just kind of how the series Remington Steel set up, which if anyone knows, that was a great Shit. kind of detective comedy series in the 80s.
But uh, the other thing he was in recently was that Apple TV uh, comedy action movie, uh, Argyle. That one was pretty fun, too. Like I said, I think he's found the type of... I will say one thing, this is always my fun, most fun one, was uh, on Something to Wrestle podcast, when Bruce Pritchard thought when they basically brought Cena over, this was from Ohio Valley Wrestling, and the man with such great physical look to it, they kept, they were all convinced he was doing steroids, and he wasn't. Yeah. That's, like, That's funny. Yeah. And that's another thing. He was like, uh, when he came to Live Valley, you know, a lot of people think, uh, like, all right, well, you're going to have to probably find other work. No. You're going to make money. Well, it's like, oh, I've got a part time job. Oh. And it's like, well, you need to play. Say, oh, I'm staying, with, staying here. I've got that. Basically, he came in to wrestling totally prepared. Whereas most folks don't. I mean, the man was good as a businessman, and he's been since then. I mean, he is one of the higher-paid wrestlers, and managed to parlay that. The other folks you hear when they get out of wrestling, they end up broke. It's good to have a backup plan. Yeah. As far as wrestlers go, he has. Uh, He's definitely put put the professional back in professional wrestling. <laughs> All right, my other stuff. Oops. Ah, fuck. <sighs> Fighting these great unclean ones. Just endless bullshit. <laughs> I'm backed up against here. All right. Yeah, this place should be exterminatist, I agree. I need to just go straight at these great, great unclean ones and just kill them as fast as I can. Let's see. Get the grab cannon ready. Oh, maybe not. He hasn't summoned it yet, but he's going to. There's something. Die. Where's my little ting ting? 
All right, fucker. Ah. Oh wait. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not what I was thinking. But all right. Hmm. Want to get closer? So I'm just grab cannon the shit out of this man. Hmm. Got him. Work on these drones. Should probably not stand by that barrel. of the number of great unclean ones. I think I've killed like four or five of them on this planet now. It's definitely a problem. Okay, save. Here's something, what is that? Something stomping around. I suspect there's a Terminator around here. Oh, there he is. It's a mm. aspiring champion. Out of Volkite. Mostly, I just picked up a little bit. Mm. Still very low on Volkite. <laughs> boss now. Oh, hello. Let's 
Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to murder your leader. You know, I've got a lot of Melta ammo I could use on this guy. It's gonna be dangerous though, so I'm gonna quick save and then run in. Get melted, dick! Ha <laughs> ha ha! How do you like them apples? Alright. Still got some cleanup to do. Uh, we uh, mutated into something new, I guess. Phase two. Salted Flamer, I didn't even know it was Pride Week anymore. Hey -o. I really need some healing now. I was immediately punished for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's shielding him now? I'm down here now. Ooh. That. Ugh. Then again, it'd be hard to exterminate that as this part of the game because this is on a spaceship. <laughs> The spaceship should probably be scuttled uh, after this, though. Oh god, there's a lot of change. Of course there is.
wherever it is, it saw me. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Stop turning me pink, it hurts. more peekaboo battles. God damn it. Launch my vengeance upon you, Dick. Hmm. There you are. Get out of here. You know it would be really fitting if I managed to finish this guy off with my just standard bolt gun. Hmm. I mean, that's the title of the game. Exactly. I think I need to weaken him a little more first. Who's that asshole running around over there? Fucking basic bitch space marine. Get out of here. This is really his last form or not, but let's try it. Excuse me. Who the fuck are you? Regular ass guy, the regular ass gun, get out of here. <laughs> oh no, there's more. What the fuck?
doing a battle of attrition. Mm -hmm. Just running out of supplies. me <laughs> oh yeah Shit. Wish I'd found that earlier. Ah, fuck out of here. Ammo usage would have been a fair bit more efficient earlier if I'd had that. But oh mm. well. Upgrade on the bolt gun. <laughs> Basically 20% more or uh, 25% more damage. No. Strength 5 instead of 4. buddy. <laughs> Gotta take out his minions because I don't need people fucking nipping at my heels while I'm fighting the boss, you know? Right. I'm full up and... Oh, no, I'm not full up in heavy bolter. Still, I'll use it for a bit anyway. Mm. Whoops. Do that. That's all right. Almost got thrown in a death pit. That's okay. Almost is not the same as actually, so. <laughs> Full only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and thermonuclear weapons. Hmm. And on the ladder, you don't even need to be close. <laughs> okay. Some sh armor would be nice, but I don't know if there's any left. It's in any great degree. Um, okay, where's the baddie at? I think I've got rid of the minions, or at least most of them. So I haven't seen anybody in a bit. Excuse me, Mr. Samuel. I am here to blast your face off. Where are mm -hmm. you? I've killed you twice already. Get back here, you coward. Shall we go for three? Mm -hmm. Seriously, though, I don't know where the fuck he's gone. Yes.
Melta, Melta! Itch! Where'd he go now? Just over there. Gotta love when he teleports 10 feet away, huh? Right, let's try this again. Ultra finish. Of course, it's a souped-up bolter now, but still. Are you finally dead now, for reals? Thank you. <laughs> Three's the magic number in games, right? Excellent work. With the sorcerer defeated and the Mechanicus device destroyed, we bought Gryar time. Now, give <sighs> fragment. It must be contained. Without this to power the device, the warp rate will begin to close itself. Can I shoot it anyway? It isn't over. The scars of chaos run deep. Who knows what foul entities linger here and on Grime. There are still heretics. Find out in the sequel. Ready your <laughs> weapon. So I'm curious to see how much of this game's plot shows up in Space Marine 2. <laughs> it's supposed to be connected. Ooh. What a good game. Yeah. A few a few flaws, but overall a pretty darn good game. Combat's real fun. Yeah. You said you had this, right? Yeah. You played a little I need bit to of it? it. Yeah, yeah I'm ready to finish. I recommend now, that you finish it. Definitely. Now that I've got my uh Uh now that I've got my computer beefed up, hey. Shouldn't have any worries. Nice. Yeah, I definitely recommend you finish it. In Commodus, was that my character? I forget. I mm, forget. Oh, this is funny. I'm yeah. just looking at people we can raid, and there is somebody that I raid sometimes, Dan Jones. He yeah. is streaming a game that I planned on streaming next after this. What's that? It's called Mini Shoot Adventures. It's basically... Imagine a Legend of Zelda game, except mm -hmm. that you're a tiny spaceship and it's a twin-stick shooter. Mm. But it's a twin-stick shooter in a Zelda-style game otherwise. <laughs> it's very weird. But it was actually a lot of fun. I already played it once. But I think it deserves a, a look at. So maybe we'll raid him. Yeah. So you can see what that's like. And then that's what I'll be playing on Saturday. Cool. Oh my god, There's and the leadership team had somebody named Ganesh? Well, no wonder this hey. is such a good game. It was made by a god. Hey! <laughs> A god approved by the Emperor, because Ganesh is really just one of the Emperor's aspects. Mm. <laughs> Although you have to be careful, if you see multi-armed Im images of the Emperor, you have to be careful that it's not a Gene Stealer cult. <laughs> but yeah, remember everybody, get Rogue Trader the video game. It is also excellent. Also get Battle Sector, Dawn of War 2. Uh, Mechanicus and this so many good 40k games to play yep. I like how you singing a song about a chainsaw <laughs> that's very fitting of course I like how they also have chain axes yeah. and the even more rare chain fist Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Who wants to punch an enemy with a with a chainsaw <laughs> and mm -hmm. that sounds amazing. Yep, add them to the backlog, Larson. All those games I mentioned are great. And if you like civilization, then get uh Gladius Relic of War. Yeah. 
It is civilization, except it's 40k, so there's no diplomacy. There's only... Com there's only war. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. All-round retro shooters. Have I played something called Forgive Me Father? Technically, no. But I did play the demo for Forgive Me Father 2, and it was very good. So I have Forgive Me Father and Forgive Me Father 2 on my wish list. They're pretty neat. I haven't touched the first one, but the demo for the second was cool. So... I will say yes, kind of. Mm -hmm. 